August 6, 2013. Hello again. Now, there's yellow and there is green fucking dead. The Office of National Statistics has been hard at it wasting taxpayers' money again asking people how happy they feel in what they call the National Well-Being Report, but what I would call an attempt to justify their own fucking existence by attaching a legitimate sounding name to what is essentially a sack of shite. The fucking Well-Being Report. It gets better. A few days after that joke was released by the ONS, another survey showed a big jump in the number of people unable to pay their bills by the end of the month, with over 50% of people now finding themselves in the financial shit on a monthly basis. And here's the fucking punchline. The Well-Being Report reckons that the Happiness Index, what a fucking joke, is up. As a nation, we are all that little bit more perky than before. Maybe I shouldn't be so quick to judge. Maybe I am wrong in my belief that the number one cause of arguments between couples is money. Maybe I'm wrong in my assumption that having to say no when your child asks if they can go on a school trip to the lights but it will mean forking out a tenor that you haven't got makes you feel pretty shit. Maybe I'm wrong in my suspicions that the well-being report only surveyed professional fucking footballers, bankers and Simon, excuse me while I fuck your wife, cow. Unless, of course, the naysayers have got it all wrong. Maybe payday loan companies really are angels in disguise, God sent to help us all in our time of need to spread happiness in a time of struggle. Crazy Vita Wanga and their extortionate interest rates, you will receive your reward in the kingdom of heaven.